later on in, in, in the 19th century, there are many references to the production and the trade of Pisco from Peru. I have chosen some of the most emblematic ones. This is a, a, a book that was published by a, a Swiss traveler, uh, Jacobo Bonschudi. This, this person traveled uh, through Peru at the beginning of the 19th century. And he published a book about the, uh, his experiences in Peru. And, and, and he has this very particular reference, which uh, illustrates the, uh, the importance of Pisco and how it was distributed, distributed in South America. He says that the grapes in Pisco, the grapes are of superior quality, very succulent and sweet. The great part is used for making brandy, which is extremely good and very well flavored. All Peru and great part of Chile are supplied with this liquor from the Valley of Ica. The common brandy is called Aguardiente de Pisco because it's shipped from that port. So what, what Shudi recognizes here is the, the, the trade that has been taking place since the, eight, the end of the, of the eight, uh, 17th century. Uh, and, and it was an industry, a very well, a cent, more than a century uh, old industry in that area of Peru by, by the beginning of the 19th century. In, in um, uh, mid uh, 18th century, there was a book published in the US. This, this was um, a, a book especially about the uh, west coast of the US. And, and there's in the book, there's uh, uh, the presence of a, a, a character named the Cornell who visits uh, San Francisco. And there he has a chat with uh, one of the, the locals and, and the local mentioned Pisco. And, and the Cornell said, what, what's Pisco? Oh, come on, I'm, I'm going to teach you uh, what is Pisco. And that starts a, a, a visit to bars in San Francisco where the popularity of Pisco was enormous. That is because since the uh, gold rush in, uh, in, in 1859, many Peruvians went as well to California to, to try to make the Americas uh, looking for gold in, in, in California. And they brought with them Pisco. And Pisco became very popular around San Francisco and California. Even they, they, they created uh, in, in the 19th century, a very popular drink that was called Pisco Punch. That uh, now we are again uh, drinking with the, the old recipe from, from the 19th century. As you may see in this, uh, this uh, image, in one of the uh, prints included in the book, there's uh, this bar in San Francisco with uh, the title, Drinking Pisco in a San Francisco Saloon. And you will see a character uh, apparently took too many Pisco punch because he, he cannot stand this uh, there in a, in a chair and, 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 a, and a dog is barking. 